Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll be discussing how did I pass AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional Examination. This is a quite a hard exam to pass. So when I passed it, a lot of people reach out to me and ask me a lot of questions. Three of the most common questions that I faced, um, I think addressing those here will uh, also help you in your certification journey. So the first question uh, which was asked to me was, Arshal, do experience really matter here or if we can pass the exam without the actual hands-on experience? So if you check on uh, AWS official exam guide, you can see AWS recommends two or more years of hands-on experience. In my opinion, even if you don't hold an actual experience, you can still pass the exam, but you have to work harder as compared to someone who has the experience. And I think this particular certification, it brings more value if you hold the hands-on experience because th that's when you actually need the professional level certification. If you don't have an experience, I'll highly recommend you to go for the associate certification, learn things there, do your personal projects, which will give you a hands-on experience with different services working in AWS and then go for the professional level that way you build your profile strongly if uh, we check the exam details so this is 180 minutes long exam so it is quite a lengthy exam and i definitely recommend you to get 30 minute extra etl which is for non-english speakers so uh, your exam time becomes 210 minutes so at those extra 30 minutes will definitely help you review the question the exam has a 75 question. Most of them will be multiple choice and some of them will be multiple responses. And in multiple response, you might get a uh, select two correct or select three correct answers. For that, you have to be clear with all the services and workings. Okay. So the second question which was asked to me was what resources do you use for the preparation of this particular certification? So uh, let's go through them one by one. So first of all, as a video course, I am uh, I used uh, Andrian's uh, SA Pro course. This course uh, has a lot of theoretical as well as a lot of actual demos uh, that will give you an idea of exactly working of services and how do you configure them. So this uh, course does not only prepare you for the certification, it also prepare you for the real world. So even if you are someone who is not really preparing for the exam, you can still go through the course and learn a lot of new things. So uh, this course is uh, recommended. Once you go through the course, or even if you think of skipping it, uh, I recommend going through Stephen's uh, Udemy course. This is highly recommended. It is just 13 hour long course. Uh, once you go through this, uh, it will summarize most of the services uh, in AWS that will be there for the exam and you'll get a good idea of uh, overall structure uh, for the exam. You will have a good idea of all the services, what do they do and how they do it. So this is highly recommended course. Uh, it will give you a, quite an, a confidence for the exam as well. So once you do these video courses, uh, you can't just go and sit for 75 question without practicing right so practicing is very important and for that i recommend going with tutorials dojo uh, practice test they have a uh, four or five different tastes i guess and uh, i took those this taste once you answer the question you'll get a detailed explanation on why the answer is correct or why the answer is wrong which again helps you prepare in depth uh, about the troubleshooting and some configuration or limits regarding different services so this is also highly recommended this will prepare you um, in depth about multiple services but this has something called time mode which will help you practice to sit three hour or more, like for in our case is three and a half hour so to sit for three and a half hour and answer 75 questions the question in this exam are quite lengthy so you have to focus for more than three hours so this is highly recommended um the third question i got was uh how to approach the exam so once you are prepared or uh, once you completed all the video courses that i mentioned and the practice test you should uh 
follow the structure for while you appear for the exam so what structure i followed is uh, i have gone through all the questions in the exam in two and a half hours so i completed 75 question whichever question i am not really confident with i marked them uh, i selected them as a flag to review later okay uh, it is not like uh, i don't know the answer but if i am not confident i have flagged the question in two and a half hour i completed 75 question and uh, in my exam i selected almost 27 question i guess uh, as a flag question in the next one hour uh, one hour i reviewed those 27 question and definitely i wasn't expecting but i changed almost 15 to 20 answers so that really helped me because sometimes you think this is the correct answer but when you go through the question twice or thrice while reviewing you realize that is not correct particularly the correct answer so you still able to replace or change your answer so that review is definitely very very essential for your exam so that is all uh, just do a lot of practice just do make sure that you know the structure well and in your free time you can definitely go through the aws's fight paper and the services you have a difficulty with go with their uh, faqs on aws's site that will really help you to clear your doubts regarding those services that's all uh, and one more tip final tip if you think uh, you're not sure about working off any services or how do they work and everything just implement it just do a hands-on with it and you'll gain a lot of uh, insights from that particular experiment so yeah that's all from my end i i hope these tips help you and i hope uh, you get your certification uh before your deadline so yes all the best for your exam i hope you pass it bye bye have a good day